What's up, skanks? <clears throat> Booty skanks. Pop this. This Red Bull is for you. Ani is at an appointment for like about an hour, hour and a half, so I figured I had to come home and take a dump anyways. So I figured, well, I'll just stream for a little bit until I gotta go pick her up. A little bit of Barai Fighter. <laughs> This is one of those games I always had as a kid, and I never knew where it came from. I just always had it, you know what I mean? Like, it was just always there. My dad, I think my dad bought it from this old grocery store, got rid of all their games or something. We just always had this. It always kicked my ass, dude. I never got anywhere in it. Second or third level is probably all I, the only thing I ever got to in this when I was a kid. This is a really fun game until the last couple levels. And then it just gets really unfair. And then the last boss takes way too many fucking hits, dude. It's always something, dude. I still haven't heard from my car. Like, they they took my car yesterday to figure out that noise, and I still haven't heard a goddamn thing about it. They probably can't figure out what the hell's wrong with it, as usual. Like, almost every car problem I get, dude, I always get these garages and I can never fucking figure out what the hell's wrong with my cars. I love this game, dude. Like, I wish they would have had more, like, a sequel or two or something. Like, there's, like, there's a Game Boy version of it, I think. And it's a little bit different, but... I think this game just has its own unique thing going on. Its own unique atmosphere. And I've never really played any other shooters that really feel like this game. It's, it's funny that my dad even bought these games because he did not like this type of game. Like, I've never, ever remember seeing my dad play a, a side-scrolling shooter, dude. Like, I think he just bought it because it was a loose cartridge and the cover of, the, of it looked cool or something. Because they were really cheap, dude. Like, they would sell the games for a few bucks back then. So, like, I, I really don't think he knew even what this game was when he bought it. As soon as he played it, he's like, nah. Um, you can get a... Oh, the car place is calling me here. Hold on. Hey, how you doing? Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of went off to the side on a curb uh, a few days ago. I, I think that motor mount was bad anyways, but hitting that curb just basically completely snapped it the rest of the way. Cool, I appreciate it, man. Alright, thank you. That's what I thought it was. Motor mount. Motor mount snapped in half. So, that, that's cool. My car's done. I can breathe a sigh of relief there. That's awesome. Wasn't a big deal at all. Woo! And now we're playing Back to the Future to celebrate. This game don't even work. This game don't even work on this fucking, on this core. Do I have, do I have multiple NES cores? Let me see. Dude, this, this, this might just be a bad ROM. I'm trying to play Back to the Future. But it ain't, oh there, no, it ain't working. No, <laughs> no core will play this game. That's how bad it is. Uh, let's play some DuckTales too. Niagara Falls. I can say that I've been to Niagara Falls and uh, it, it, it don't look like this. Dude, it's funny. I, I have a story about Niagara Falls, dude. So I went with my friend. And my friend, he like travels all the time. And I was, I was with uh, Courtney at the time. And I wasn't going to go because I didn't feel good, dude. Like, I, to this day, I don't know what was wrong with me. Like, I just, I felt just, I wasn't really sick, but I felt it was all, I was all so off, I felt so weird, and I didn't feel good, and, uh, I remember we went to Niagara Falls, I remember I slept the whole fucking way, dude, the whole way up there, because I, I just, I felt like shit, and Courtney was just bugging my friend Jeff the whole fucking time, dude, like, just driving him nuts, and we were on that, this bridge, there's like a bridge at Niagara Falls, 
and it lets us, it's like over the falls and you can like look down and there's there's barely any guardrails or anything. And like Courtney was using my friend Jeff's phone and uh, he, she fucking dropped the phone and it started rolling and it started like, it got right to the edge and it was like teetering over the edge of this fucking bridge, dude, and I had to like dive for it. It started to fall over the fucking thing and I had to like dive for it and I fucking grabbed it right before it fucking fell into the fucking falls, dude. I was like, I was like, I was like, bitch, I'm about to throw you off this bridge if you fucking break, get, if you fucking lose my fucking friend's phone over the falls. Gee, I was so fucking pissed at her, dude. She was a stupid bitch. She had just, like, no self-awareness, dude. About how annoying she was. And I didn't even, I didn't even want to go, because I felt so bad, and I had to deal with her fucking nonsense the whole time. Because we camped out... Like, after, after we went to Niagara Falls, we, we like... No, before we went to Niagara Falls... Yeah, the night before we camped out in tents, and I was sick, and I was telling her the whole time, I was like, I don't feel good, like, I don't really want to be here, and uh, she was like, wanting to have sex in the tent, and I was like, no, I was like, I don't feel good, and you guys know how it is when you're, like, super sick, and you, you don't want to have sex, dude, that's the last thing you want to fucking do, and she's just, and I'm just like, not in this fucking, it's like a hard ground tent, I was like, I ain't having sex, dude. And she was like all pissy, I had to argue with her the whole fucking time. I was like, you can be pissy all you want, but we ain't having no fucking sex, dude, because I don't feel good. This game, this game was a very late NES game, and I had this when I was a kid, I sold it. I kind of regret selling it. I sold all my old classic games, guys. I needed the money at some point, and I sold, I actually sold them to Amazon. Amazon, Amazon uh, at, at one time gave really good prices for classic games. Like, I got a lot of money out of my classic games. They don't do it anymore. They don't give jack shit. But at one point, they gave really good money for a lot of these these games. And you didn't have, it didn't jump. I don't know what that, what that was about. And you didn't have to deal with eBay or anything like that. Shipping, uh, they they provided the label and, and all that shit. So you didn't have to worry about it. I regret selling my copy of this game, yeah. But my, my copy of this game was pretty beat up. But I remember my, my dad bought me this game, dude. It was this, this was probably the last new NES game I ever bought. As a matter of fact, I, it might be one of the only ones. I never really bought new NES games. But I bought this, as, it was new when I bought it. If I'd known how much it was gonna, you know, be worth, I probably would've taken more care of it, but... You don't know that kind of stuff when you're a kid, dude. It's just ducktails, you know what I mean? This is a weird game in that it's technically better than the first game in every conceivable way. But I still don't like it as much as the first game. It lacks the charm of the original, yeah. And there's no epic fucking song like the moon level either. But it's it's infinitely better than Chip and Dale 2. Chip and Dale 2 is not nearly as good. This boss is retarded. It, like, tries to trick you, but it's just, like, it still gives you, like, plenty of time to hit it. Yeah, that's the easiest boss in the game by far. I don't think I've ever died on it. I thought I got all the map pieces, though. I must have missed a map piece that I didn't... I must not have got the one on the first level. It don't matter. Whatever. Somebody donated for this. Let's play a little bit of it. It might not... I might not be doing it in order, but somebody wanted to see Bucky O'Hare. I probably only got a couple minutes anyway. I owned this when I was a kid, dude. It's weird the, that I owned all these rare games as a kid. I didn't even know. Like, I didn't know this game was an uncommon game or nothing, but... I didn't know that this was based on a comic book or a cartoon or anything. Like I just, I just thought it was its own thing. I, I, I always thought it was a really cool game. Whoa, whoa! The game had a heart attack. Did you see that? <laughs> the game had a strizzoak, dude. Let me. I gotta, I gotta see that again. <laughs> I've never seen a ROM do that before. That was literally like somebody kicked the NES. 
I gotta see that again. That was awesome. I would take a Metroidvania game over a roguelike game any day of the week, though. Because a lot of times, depending on the, the roguelike features that have been implemented, a lot of times it's just like, I'm not going to play a game for hours on end and make zero progress. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, who wants to play a game for four hours and make absolutely no progress whatsoever? Alright, let's see, let's see this craziness again. Wow, dude, like, it don't like that tree. Look at that, that's like, look at that, it's actually Japanese text on it. Weird. You use messing? I don't think I've ever used this core. I can tell the colors, the colors look different. Thanks, Ashley. People say I'm crazy when I claim indie games don't grab me. Indie devs like to say they're creative, but they tend to steal, and yeah, you're not wrong. Um, I play indie games, and there's some I, I like quite a bit, but if you're just copying a game wholesale, like, I don't really want to play that. Like, uh, there have been some indie games come out here that have been, like, just carbon copies of, of fucking Symphony of the Night and shit, dude. I mean, they just rip it wholesale, and that's just not really that interesting to me. I don't, I, I don't want to play a generic brand Symphony of the Night, dude. If I'm going to play Symphony of the Night, I'm going to play Symphony of the Night. Like, why is anybody... Wow. Bad ROM. Full stop. Full stop bad ROM. Delete that some bitch out of there. Paste that some bitch in. Now let's try it again, my friends. I've encountered that before where you get multiple bad dumps on on multiple sites. Taco Bell dumps. Alright, moment of truth. Yeah, cool. That was just a straight bad dump. So this was a cartoon. I had never even seen it or heard of it, dude. What channel was this on? When did it air? Like, I mean, I knew all the stuff from the 90s, but I don't remember this at all. I don't ever remember Bucky O'Hare being on TV, dude. Oh god, not this fucking part. I don't need a safe state, what am I doing? Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. That level is fucked. go get that car before we do the nails thing because they're going to close. Alright, I'll come. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, homies. I'll be back to stream later. Do you guys want me to keep this up? This stream? I mean, we didn't really accomplish much in this stream. Keep it? Alright. I'll keep it if you guys want. Alright, homies. I'll be back later. Um, probably later tonight. So.